It's another early morning um, and I did a quick get ready, but it wasn't that quick because a lot of things went wrong. And I'm doing these airbrush videos to show how everybody can wear airbrush makeup, but the truth is things go wrong and um, it happened all on camera and I wanted to show you what you can do to fix those situations because the benefits of wearing airbrush makeup outweigh the pitfalls of the little things that could go wrong and those things can go wrong with regular makeup too. So as you saw, my gun got clogged. I was checking my spray pattern. I was cleaning my gun. I do little things like I use pointed Q-tip ends when I pull back the needle to clean it. And I'm constantly cleaning my gun, especially when I put black in for my cat eyes or my eyebrows because I need a clean gun all the time and you're working with one gun. So you have to stop and do those little extra things, but being extra sometimes outweighs the benefits of having bad skin or seeing discoloration. And that's the thing. I use a full to medium coverage soft glow foundation and it covers my discoloration, my acne, um, any scarring. And so I like that. Um, this is a really early morning routine and I like doing this and it's actually only took me I think nine minutes, but because of some of the mistakes, it took a little longer. Um, one of my eyes, it felt like it sprayed heavier. And those things happen. It happens to professionals, but it also happens to people, everyday people. And I did some extra colors in my eyes. And most people wouldn't do that every day for work. But because I do makeup, photography, and glamour, I take that extra step. But I wanted to show you how you could do it. And you could add some fun and some sparkle and um, just, you know, a different look every day. And so it takes practice and working with the equipment, but you can do it. And I use two different foundations, a soft glow and then a lighter color through my center to brighten. And that gives me my natural kind of contour. And it's really easy to do. Um, and as well as if you don't have the budget and you're just starting out with airbrush, you can use some of your powder products. Like today I used a blush from MAC called Peaches and I just used that. I had spent so much time on my eyes and so many things went wrong that I was like, I didn't have time. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos and they give you some insight on how airbrush makeup and all the benefits as well as how to overcome little pitfalls that stop you from using your equipment. Cleaning it is so important. Um, sometimes your spray pattern, as you saw, some of the product didn't come out and I was using a needle to poke it as well as shaking it and with these bottles from Dynair you have to hear the um, ball inside shaking it's just like a spray can or spray can of paint so um, it's those little things getting to know your equipment and your product um, I'm looking forward to trying new product from different companies um, and branching out so that'll be exciting and I'll show you different types of airbrush makeup and the benefits um, I also use a brand called Tickle Pink and they're great for certain things if you like organic, lightweight. I need a heavier coverage, so I use Dynair, but when I mix the two, I get a really cool effect. So there's so many things you can do and play with, but like I said, getting to your equipment. Today I was using the Wand Gun by Dynair, and I did have problems. Um, like I said, I checked my spray patterns because they were getting clogged. I use a little jar that I got from Dynair to put my extra product in. But then I also have a little black towel that I use, something I do, when I want to check my spray pattern, when I need to quickly spray something out, and I don't want to grab for this. Um, so I have little tips and tricks that I use. I want to share them with you. Keep watching my videos. Like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications on my latest videos. I do videos on the airbrush makeup and how you can wear it for every day. And this is not just for makeup professionals. It's for the regular person who wants to cover uh, discoloration and frown lines and um, aging spots and freckles and acne and all kinds of things or if you just like a lightweight fast foundation the stuff they use for weddings um, like I said there's organic products out there some people like that kind of um, type of makeup if you want to go all vegan things like that so um, click that bell like share and subscribe I've got lots of tips and tricks and like I said the benefits outweigh the cons on using airbrush makeup so stick with me and I'll show you more on how to use your equipment, how to get the product to spray, as well as how to wear it and fix mistakes when you feel like you have made a mistake. Um, one final thing I want to say is I thought I sprayed too much on one side and the spray pattern was wrong so it was squirting out so I felt like I wrecked this eye but because I'm doing more of a blurred out look it looks fine and it didn't wreck it and so sometimes we mind mind game ourselves and so what we think looks bad actually looks good and sometimes it does look bad so if this was still too heavy than the other eye I would take some powder and just do a quick fix 
And some of you may think, well, what's the purpose of using airbrush? Well, like I said, the benefits outweigh the cons. And sometimes when you're learning, you make mistakes. And so there's tips and tricks you can do. And even as a professional makeup artist, you can make mistakes. And there's things you can do when you're on location and you're quickly doing things. And you can make your makeup look amazing, even if you outspray. Um, and you don't have to take it all off. So um, I hope you enjoyed these videos. They're very early in the morning. So um, these are like me getting ready for my day. So these are real true little life situations that can help you. All right. Thanks guys. See you later. Bye.